Hello, friends, and welcome back. Let's get stuck in. Battle of Berlin. And this is going to be problematic because I know once you take this settlement there, it's similar to Vienna in that they have typically a lot of um, a lot of uh, rebellions and whatnot. So there'll probably be at least one rebellion here, but I do have two other armies to the west of Napoleon and one to the east. And I would eventually like to send at least one more army farther east to protect uh, Olmutz and also hopefully to uh, attack and defend as well against uh, the Ottomans. But it's possible we may be able to get peace with the Ottomans for the time being. I mean, I do want to destroy them. I probably will destroy them before attacking Russia uh, just because I don't want that problem in my south, my southern flank. But if we can get a temporary peace with them, similar to the temporary peace we have with the British, and then we can uh, begin the war again on our own terms. That would be a huge advantage to us. So this battlefield looks a little bit problematic, at least on my left flank. Yeah, that hill right there is going to be an advantage for my foe. I appear to have light foot. Okay. But my right is actually quite powerful. And a bit, there's a natural overlap here with the lay of the lands and the way my forces are. So. Let me take a look here. This is Napoleon's army, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. I might... I want to put my cannons in these trees. There looks like there's a bit of a rise here that's also blocking my cannons. That is a bit of a pain. What I am going to do is I'm going to probably put my chasseur on my left because they're a little bit more nimble and a little bit more maneuverable. Cannons, you will be in the center. No, not you. Here. In the center, we will try and hammer as best we can on their own right. I'm going to have a, some probably columns of... Hmm, what should I do here? Old guard. I'll probably put you here to help defend my cannon in this area. That's right, I have grenadiers as well. So, yeah, most of this arm, this this side, their right, their right side is going to have to be destroyed by infantry and cavalry instead of cannon. So we'll probably focus our cannon on basically this area in here. And I will use probably my grenadiers. Do I want grenadiers here? Which side do I want my grenadiers on? Probably I'll leave them here as well. And we will advance. We probably won't advance much with our grenadiers. They'll be holding on uh, in the center along with potentially my Chasseurchval to guard my cannons. And I'm going to put... Oh, I don't have any Fusilier of Lion in this army. That's right. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean... Um, ah, not Fusilier of Lion. What the hell am I talking about? Uh, Chasseur. So I will probably have to put my Grenadiers over here as well. Okay, that's, that's okay. It's not a big, a big deal. It just changes things up a little bit. I'll probably have to put some Fusilier of Lion as well over here. But I want to put my main units of Fusili of Line on my right, because that was probably where I'm going to be advancing. So I will put probably two units of Fusili of Line here. Like so. And then both units of Voltageur here. Into light infantry behavior. Right like this. And guard them with my Lancier, my Lancers. Good stuff. Okay. The rest of my Fusili of Line. You friends with that one and that one. So all the rest of you will be on my right flank. Probably quite thick. And by thick, I mean... Um, in relatively deeper columns. Because I will probably be advancing with you. And actually, hmm, curiously... I might go out instead like this and have a re reserve. This is something that I tried in, 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 in another battle that didn't work out because of the way my foes reacted to me. But I'm going to leave these friends in a reserve, a tactical reserve, but I'll have them advance like I'm going to be flanking. And we'll see how they react because I do have a natural flank, uh, flank advantage here. You can see that their lines are shorter than mine. They'll have to spread out. And if I can somehow get them to spread out far enough to create a gap, I will then melee these these units and I might actually instead of having my oh this is a difficult decision because I do have Voltageur here but I think my Voltageur should be able to they have lots of cab over there too crap okay I will use another unit of Lancers as well on my right of center 
And I might also... I could just use my Chasseur Cheval as well. Yeah, I might actually use my Chasseur Cheval instead. Okay, so Lancers, I'll, on second thought, I'm going to pull you over here. And you will kind of be my Hammer Force. Chasseur Cheval. And Lancers will be more defensive. I know that's a little bit strange, but... Hear me out. Okay, I will use them in melee, and probably these friends in melee as well. They are in melee and out of fire at will. And I am going to try and stretch their right, their left flank out with my right flank and see how they do. In the meantime, I am going to be trying my best to defeat them with... Uh, to defeat their cavalry with my... with my... Um, with my... Uh, guns here, my cannons. I'm going to try and weaken my center. It'll give the appearance that I'm weakening my center. And I'm going to keep pulling them over here. I do not have any cavalry... Oh, Napoleon's way over here, too. Crap. Okay, where do I want to move you, Napoleon? Let's get you over here. Run. Run. Their cavalry is moving away. You see how they're moving their cavalry over there? This is a good a good thing. Let's not get too overzealous here. Let's, let's hammer on their center. That's where I really want their, the main... Main blow to fall. They are running their cavalry far to my flank. And this is, I think, going to be a huge boon to us because what's going to happen is that it's weakening their center. Naturally, it's weakening their, weakening their center. It's weakening me a little bit too, but I have a reserve, remember, so it shouldn't be a big deal. They're moving away. I do have Chasseur Cheval here as well in case they try to be stupid. And I'm just going to try and hold on my left. I don't know how well this is going to work, but I'm going to try it out. Oh, please do not be too choppy. You're running. You're going to try and hold your, as best you can for a while. Can we catch their calf? We have caught their calf. Okay. We should be able to defeat their calf. Let's also crash to here. They're running through my infantry. And their center has been weakened. If we can destroy that cav, why are you running that way? You should be cutting them up. I'm going to have to get my infantry involved in a melee struggle with cavalry. I don't really want to, but I don't really have much of it. You guys get into melee. I mean, it would be would be fantastic if you would. They're firing upon us here. And now, what am I going to do? I'm going to take my chasseur cheval and move them over here. Cannons, you should be hammering. You are hammering. What are you doing? Get over here. You should be defeating their horses. My cannon is doing any damage. I cannot see. It doesn't appear as though they are. We've destroyed that cavalry. Very nice. Let's get you friends back in the line. You two, pull back. Run. You two need to pull over into here. Keep stretching out at their right, or their left, sorry. They're just being kind of stationary here. You can see what I'm doing here. They're just keeping running cavalry out here, and I'm going to just try and hammer them as best I can. If I can get you out of melee and you can fire at will, that would be fantastic. For the time being, we can fire at their cavalry. Let's have you run. You're all running. Okay. And they're not advancing anywhere else. I don't know if I have enough troops over here to do this to pull this off, but I'm going to try my best. They're running some troops in here. They're running more cavalry in. Once we, they, we weaken their cavalry, that's actually going to be a big, a big help to us. We have actually, we're actually going to defeat them on this flank. So let's pull you forward now. Actually, let's first get you into melee and kill this cavalry. Let's send you in again to fight this cavalry. We are holding on here. You should be firing. We are losing a few. Sh Ooh, one of these units is really taking it hard. This unit right there. We've got bayonets fixed, and we are fighting. They're coming in on a swoop here on my, towards my center to try and help out. And what end, uh, may end up happening is we may end up attacking on our left then if they're going to turn their whole army that way. My cannons are not doing much damage, so it's not very good placement with the cannons right now. Let's fire here. Are we winning? We've beaten that cavalry back. Very good. Let's pull you back again. And you. Yeah, we've lost a lot of men from that unit. Okay, now let's take my cav, and instead of running through, let's run around here. How are we doing over here? 
I can't really tell what they're doing. They're turning their line a little bit. Now, I might actually start advancing on this area here. Like so. There's a bit of a bit of a hill there. I don't like that at all. I'll tell you the truth. All right. Old guard, we'll get you like this. Are we winning here? I think we are. Appear to be. Let's get you stuck in on this can. And now, now, ah, I see. Now is a chance to defeat these fools. Okay. They are shaken. And now we have actually won on this flank. You see how we've won that flank? I, the, th the, the, the positive thing about the way that I did this was, even though I am losing some men here in this unit, we have already won this flank. So that the, oppor the opportunity to, for victory is basically twofold. You can do a battle of breakthrough, or you can do a battle of encirclement. And even though this is, I originally thought of this as a battle of the breakthrough, it's actually probably going to be a battle of, the encir of encirclement. Now, we do have an advantage here. Let's pull my cavalry this way. And now we can, even though we've lost a few men, we are going to defeat them here. I want all of you friends to run like hell. Go. And now we are beating them on their right as well. So, this unit probably will not have to do much more. My cab is in a position to cause lots of trouble. This is more cannon back here. Let us go and take care of that if we can, and we can. Let's get in there. And now the time comes to flank. So this is actually going to become a flanking force. Instead of a decoy force, it's going to become a flanking force. And that's totally fine. That makes me happy. My cannons are doing no damage at all, by the look of it. Are we fighting here? We are fighting here. I'm doing that the hard way, kind of. I could have just lined up and shot them to bits, but it doesn't really really matter too much, I think. So search file, we could destroy this cannon. are in position to attack. They do have cavalry over here, but I have an answer for that here. Let's get in there. We should be beating these fools. Let's get you into melee and hit them on the flank. This unit, yeah, you're not going to do too well there, friends, I'm sorry to say. I've broken that cannon. I do have barricades here, so I have to be a little bit careful. Are you attacking? Why are you running around? No, get in here. Run. And attack in melee. Winning slightly? Are you serious? Let's get in here and break them. They're attacked in the rear now. We got more cavalry coming in to attack my line here. And they're running right into my grenadiers, which isn't a good idea. Oh, they are actually... Oh, I wish I had a damn reserve now. Because they are weakening their center, and now they're advancing in... And strength. And that's, I think it's a little bit, they're going to be a little bit too little too late right now. Cannon, uh, cavalry broken in here. Let's continue the advance. Well, they've held up pretty well under fire, though. They being my foes here. No, cav, keep pushing through. The general is here. We could fire upon him. That'd be kind of fun. There's a concerted push on my left right now, but. I really don't know what they're doing exactly. Okay, my cavalry needs to pull back now. Run back. Run. Run. Run away. You've done what you've had to do. You've destroyed their cav. Firing in here. We're firing on our own cav, though. And now we have destroyed that entire flank. Except for their general. If we can somehow turn and fire upon him, that would be huge. A huge benefit to us. Have we beaten that unit yet? Okay, it's beaten. Now we can flank with everything we've got. Get you friends out of that and into fire at will. And cannons, let's have you stop now. They are breaking. Cavalry is running back through. We did take some losses. Probably some due to friendly fire. Alright. A bit of a messy battle. It didn't turn out the way I had hoped, but that's okay. It never does. <clears throat> and we will have Berlin after this, and it will be a benefit to us. Did we fire on their general? We did not. We are firing now. He is taking losses. My cav is tearing them up. Wow. Break that unit. Going through them. Good. Chasseurjeval doing a great job. The general is wavering. Let's send my Chasseurjeval back. Whoa. Granite, grenade. Oh, they have mines. Ah, oh, they have mines. They killed some of my units with mines here. Some of my men. Let's pull your friends back. Let's pull this unit back anyway. This unit can continue. Because I don't want to lose that unit. Kill their general. Okay. 
cavalry. Let's have you continue. Have you continue. Let's not have you go there, though. I want cavalry. Do not run through those barricades, Cav. Lots of lots of men. Scared men and dying horses and whatnot. And our Chasseur Ashval doing relatively well. I mean, you know, in all honesty. That unit is broken. They're losing some Chasseur Ashval now because they're being fired upon, but we should be able to break through them there. Enemy general is dead. We have broke that unit. Shatter. We're getting hit with cannon over here too. I need to get my get my cavalry in their cannon here. Let's go ahead and bust up their cannon now. We've broken that unit. We shattered that unit. And we're cleaning up with cavalry. So it didn't work out as that I, as I had planned. I was hoping for a battle of the breakthrough. But uh you know what? The uh the uh battle of encirclement that did end up happening and the outflanking of my foe that ended up happening was okay. It didn't matter at all. Have you continued to attack here? And yeah, we should be getting close to the end. Yeah, we've lost some chasseurs file, but that's okay. I'd like for all of my infantry to stop firing. Let's have you stop, because you're gonna kill my own men. And we should have won, and we did. Yeah, we took some heavy casualties in some places, but some other units didn't really take it too badly, so. Yeah, so again, it worked it turned it turned out into something that I was not expecting. And uh, maybe I was a little bit too how do I say, monolithic in my thinking with how I could have won on my right instead of my left. But we ended up winning basically in both places, I think, just because I have um, superior units. And our left didn't really need to do that much, just hold, and that's what I had planned on having them do. And the decision came, the hammer blow came, with what would happen on my right with those two reserve units. Now, I was planning on doing a breakthrough in the center, as I did before, uh, I, try I planned before. Uh, it didn't work out the way I had hoped, but that's okay. It's perfectly fine. It, it worked out another way. It turned into an outflanking force, and we have captured captured Berlin. And now, does that mean that Prussia is at peace with us? Prussia is still hostile. Okay. That's okay, though. I don't really mind. Miss, uh, Miss Senna? Miss Senna cannot move back yet. I probably will move him back to Dresden for the time being, just to, uh, to, to uh, replenish. And we have taken Prussia. We have taken uh, Berlin. So, let's see. That has been, wow, well, Court of Appeals. Okay, we could fix that, and we could fix that as well. That is Ordnance Factory? Is that uh, the big guns? I forget. I mean, the 12-pounders? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. But we did get some money out of that. Let's see, can I do anything with it? There was one place that I wanted to fix. Yeah, this. Can I? I can. Let us do just that, and now let us go ahead and end the turn. The Brits are moving away. To somewhere else. The Merchant's Navy Medal of Gratitude. I don't know what that means. I'll have to check that out eventually. Ah, uh, the Russians now have some fools. And you are going to move on Berlin, are you? Huh. Agent recruited. Where where is my agent recruited? Here? That really? Oh, it's Graz. Okay, you can stay there. You can research. That's fine. We have nothing really to research. Oh, we do. Ah, uh, Orléans. Let's see. This is what? Trade unions? I don't think I want to do trade unions. I'm sorry. I think I would rather... What is this? This is you. Utrecht, let's have you do abolition of slavery. Did I not build a military academy? Not yet, huh? Well, I suppose we can do trade unions then. Not really much else I can do about that, except that. Okay, there. And we have another one where... Here. I could probably send you to Graz as well. Yeah, research is fine. Go away now. City besieged. Yeah, we'll beat them. Don't worry about that. But then constructed. Okay. Technology advance. Workers on strike in Brandenburg. Yeah, whatever. Now, what am I going to do? I could go out and attack. So that would be. I'm a little bit weak as far as cavalry is concerned. They have no they have only one cannon though. I'll probably wait and see what they do to me. And while they're away, I'm gonna go ahead and take Take you and go and attack Mecklenburg. Why? Because I think that's a smart thing to do. We'll encircle it. We'll put uh 
How is, how is public order in Hanover? Not so bad. Yeah, let us put you in Hanover for the time being. Meanwhile, Massena, you could actually go over there and help Napoleon. That would be interesting. Could you? Could you? You could. Do I want to, though? That's the question. I'm going to wait with that, and I'm going to attack this area right here first. So, let's do that. Battle of Sherwin. Mm -hmm. I think if we take this, their army is gone, so I don't have to fight that, right? Is that how it works? We could destroy Mecklenburg. And then, really, they don't have any army to besiege Napoleon with. Which is fantastic. I mean, it's, it's killing two birds with one stone, really. Well, it's killing the same bird, I guess, but... The same species of bird. Is that right? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> anyway... I like this battlefield, at least how it looks right now. Move my cannon right there, potentially. We can fire right down on their forces. Maybe. Maybe. It depends on what it actually looks like, but from where I'm seated, that looks pretty good. So does that. That doesn't look bad either. That doesn't look so terrible, but I'll probably... Again, if I have my choice... If I have a choice, if I have any options, I would choose a central battery in, in the middle. And... Uh, that gives me flexibility to fire at the center at either fl or at either flank instead of having only one flank and the center, you see. So as I mentioned before, that's why I like to do it that way, and I really like this battlefield. Oh, good God. If it were not for that, oh, damn, this would be a perfect battlefield. Good Lord. That is wonderful. You guys are screwed. Very nice. These are all, what, 8-pounders? Yeah, they're all 8-pounders. That's okay, though. Not 12-pounders. Not my favorite, but that's okay. So I will move my cannons probably along a line in here. Behind them and running before them, I will put two units of pussy the line to grab that territory first. Um, on the flanks of my cannon, I will have... Uh, do I want chasseur? I have only three units of chasseur in this army. So what I want to do is probably just go three and three on either flank. And then it depends where do I want to put my chasseur. After that, I'll just see where are my chasseur most useful. Potentially, again, on... Uh, yeah, they have more infantry over here. I think they have no cav, right? One unit of cav? Not very much cav. Yeah, we'll probably... I might put four units of Fusadev line on this place right here, just because I'm thinking that they'll probably get charged with cavalry. And I'll also put my Lancier. And I shall search for all, probably. Because they can actually fire at my foes. There. This unit is that one. That one is there. That unit is there. So I have only two units of Fusilier line. Yeah, two units of Fusilier line on my, on, my, on my left. But that's okay. That's not a big deal, because I'm going to have chasseur, all of my chasseur there. Why? Because they have less... Less cav over here. And also my lancier, my lancers. Let's spread you friends out a little bit farther. A little bit too far away from my cans, though, for my, for my liking. Let me try this again. That's a little bit better, but I wish it would register. Can it register? There we go. All right, good. Now, Lancers, I'll put you probably here, but I might use you on my flank. And finally, Mr. Ney, we should put you here. Hopefully out of the range of their cannons. Do I like it? Do I love it? Eh, I will like it more later. So let's first choose you. Start battle. Pause. And I'm going to move my cannons probably right about here. Uh, maybe not so far down. Maybe more like this. Like so. I think I like that better. I think so. I think that's a better a better idea. Okay, and then we're going to take you, friends, and have you... Both of you. Look at both of you, okay. You're going to be hauling ass right here. Fast as you can. You're going to run. Did that not register for both of you? It did, okay. Now, what am I going to do with you, friends? Let's advance you as soon as possible, because I have a feeling they're going to charge me with Cav. Let's get you like this. And I don't want all of you running that, fa that far. Let's just refuse that flank for now. And I may do most of my work probably on this flank. Speaking of, let us move you, friends, also in line with my cannons, like so. Not that far away, though. Let's move you a little bit closer. Like so. 
I don't think I want this unit like that. I want it closer to my cannons, not my infantry. Right here. Run. And that means that I'll have to pull you back so you don't get fired on by my own units in your flank. And that's a pretty strong position, I must say. And I'm not tooting my own horn. That's, that's just that's just the, the reality here. Can you guys run? I thought I hit R. Maybe I did not. I think I might pull this unit back just a hair so my cannons are not firing upon them. If I have to fire aw, towards the left. Their infantry is massing up. They do have cavalry moving towards me. Is that cavalry or is that a gun? That is a cannon. Okay. You, you're still moving. Okay. Why are they sending their guns right in front of me? It's just weird. Not the smartest thing to do, I think. Let's uh, unlimber. Yeah, unlimber. And I do not want you firing at will right yet. Okay, I do not want you firing at will quite yet. Let us pull you friends just behind my cannons. Like so, run. And let us get all of you unlimbered. Not in fire at will. And you are also ready to go. Unlimbered. Not in fire at will. Let's take all of you now. Let's hammer on their cavalry right here. All right. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want you friends there. Qua. All right. I guess that went a little bit different from how I hoped had hoped with my chasseur, but oh well, whatever. We're hitting their cav. We are. We have beaten them up quite nicely. Fantastico. Yeah, I'd wanted my chasseur on the flank, but the way it's worked out is that they're actually not on the flank. That's okay, though. It's not a big deal. I'm not going to cry. I have Lancers there to help out. General is here as well. Let's fire at the general. The general's an infantry unit. Where is the rest of their cav? I know they have more cav. No, I want you firing at cavalry, not at infantry. Do that okay I don't know what you're doing but that's just really stupid you go ahead and be stupid go ahead and be stupid friend the cavalry oh, they have a unit over here that is untouched by my cannons you fire into them directly oh there's there's a unit of cavalry I found one fire here fire here you can continue to fire here the infantry is advancing do I want to fire at it I don't think so. Not yet. I think it's more important that I hit their cav. The cav is going to be more problematic, I think, right now. You strip them with their cavalry, they're going to be in big trouble. Let's take my Fusilli of Line here, and let's uh, leave you for the time being, or do I want to draw them in? I think I may want to draw them in, so let's back up to this hill. Not like that, though. I don't like that at all. Oh, they're going to run after me now, and that's going to be the death knell for them. I don't think that's going to be too helpful. They are advancing on my cannons now. We have hit their cavalry quite well, I think. Not amazingly, but we have hit them. We are firing upon them, and they're doing cannons. They're doing lots of damage. Dirty, dirty cannons skip in there. Got a unit wavering. Let's fire here. Can we hit them with canister already? What happened here? Damn it! Are you fucking serious? Okay, well, friends... The game has stopped working here, so I will have to finish this battle at another time. Please do remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I am Autogadius Magnus.